I installed iOS 11 beta on day one on my primary device because A, I do this every year, and B, my name is Sam Sheffer. It took about 15 minutes to completely install for those wondering. The first thing I noticed about the home screen is that Apple got rid of the icon names in the dock. The cellular dots are gone too, and the bars are back. You can now move multiple icons simultaneously. You need to just grab one and then tap as many as you'd like. That's useful. Control Center has been redesigned, and I personally don't mind it. The volume and brightness sliders look different now. They're vertical, and you can 3D touch into them to get finer control. You can also 3D touch the timer to easily set one. 3D touching the grid of icons up here gives you access to more settings like AirDrop and Hotspot. You can't rearrange these as of now, but you can customize the four buttons on the bottom and add as many as you like. And yes, you can rearrange them. It kind of looks insane when it's filled up like this, but I'm enjoying the new UI and its elements. Oh, and real quick, check out the orientation lock animation. That is hot. You can now screen record in iOS 11. It's fully baked right into Control Center. You just hit that record button and you're recording your screen. There's a blue bar on the top that lets you know how long you've been recording for. And to stop recording, you can either tap it or go back into Control Center and press the button again. I'm really pumped about this. And yes, you can set it to record audio as well. So recording snaps with audio is now a thing, easily. Messages look a bit different now. Apple moved Digital Touch down next to the iMessage store and apps. Peer-to-peer -peer Apple Pay isn't up and running yet, so I couldn't test it, but I am particularly excited about that feature. There are two new iMessage animations as well, Echo and Spotlight. There's also some new springboard animations, like going in and out of an app, multitasking now sends the apps in from the left side of the screen, and the way the buttons come up on the lock screen is new too. The calculator app got a redesign. The app store also has been completely redesigned. The buttons along the bottom are new and it's filled with giant fonts and boxes and I actually kind of don't mind it that much. Apple updated the native video player in Safari. It looks and feels better. And check out that volume slider, finally. Dark mode, kind of made it into iOS 11 with this new smart invert button. Notice the dock and then how the icons are ever so slightly dim. And then when you jump into certain apps, it knows not to invert everything. It's a great workaround for those waiting for a true dark mode, but I think right now it's only supported by native Apple apps. I also played with the new live photos effects and they work surprisingly well for being in beta. There's bounce, loop, and long exposure. If you like using Instagram's boomerang feature, I think you'll get a kick out of these. And you can trim live photos and select a new key photo. I'm not really sure how I feel about the new notification center, mostly because I haven't really used it that much because I don't have apps on my phone to give me notifications yet. But on first glance, it seems a little bit confusing that it brings down, it, it, it basically recreates the lock screen. Yeah, not super hot on this. The new files app really reminds me of Finder on the Mac. You can access your files like documents and you can even tag them. I have a feeling a lot of people were waiting for something like this, especially a native app. And let's not forget about those new wallpapers in iOS 11. There's just a few of them. So what do you think? Did you take the plunge and install iOS 11 on a primary device, on a secondary device, on an iPad even? And what else do you wanna see me test? Did I miss anything? Leave a comment down below and let me know. And be sure to share this video with any of your friends who may have questions about iOS 11. Thanks for watching.